All right, now it is day 23, and today is going to be all about Disney. I've been planning this uh, manicure for a while. I keep pushing it off. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I just knew that I wanted it to be Disney inspired. And I got these pigments, uh, pigments, these polishes delivered to me. Um, I bought them. I was expecting them. Um, I ordered them last week, 10 days ago, and it took a little bit longer than expected to receive, but I got them just in time and they're called, um, I think they're in the line of peacock colors. And I was a little surprised when I received them because I thought I remembered them being a lot brighter. I didn't think they were going to be, um, as sheer and translucent as they are. But I went back to the website and it did specify to use them on darker backgrounds. But I think they actually work perfect, perfectly for these purposes. And basically what they are, um, are their opal colors. They've got um, foils in the um, background or rather uh, dispersed throughout. And one is a uh, pink background that's a cosmic sparkle. And the other one is like a blue green. And they're both beautiful. I'm going to be using them a lot for different um, nails and designs. But I had, and you can see how much they sparkle right there. I mean, it's at, they're stunning. Um, and I'm going to get a lot of use out of them. But I was originally going to have them on a shiny background. But I think the design was getting lost in all the sparkles. So I left it matte. Um, and you'll see as, um, as the manicure or as the design progresses that it's uh, better kind of as the idea of it versus having it really sparkle in your face. So one of my friends, shout out to Jenny, is a massive, massive Disney fan. Um, if, she, if she could move into the castle, I think she probably would. But um, she, uh, I think she was maybe a Disney princess in her last life. I love her to death. And um, these are for her. So I did a 3D Mickey on this nail here. And I'm going to be doing a, a mini uh, nail as well. And then to uh, bridge the gap between the two of them, I did a kind of like a... Uh, Mickey polka dot motif on the third nail. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, the only problem I really had was I should have done the head, the Mickey head, separate from his ears because the if you put one blob of gel next to another blob of gel, it's just going to merge into one blob of gel. And that's basically what happened. Uh, his ears kind of turned into rabbit ears. But I think you get the idea. And um, I'm just going to... I tried... I didn't realize that the flakes that I use for mini don't... Um, I th thought there, it was more of a foil where you can... If you rub it, it kind of blends into the nail. These, The ones that I use for mini don't blend. They're hard um foils so i ended up just like tapping them onto the surface and using my dotting tool both for mickey and for minnie to kind of keep the glitter conformed to where i put the gel and then i just used a lot of builder gel on top of both mickey and minnie to make them 3d and turn them into baubles and then I did some fairy lights and I put a silver border around the nail and that's the manicure.
so here is where I quickly went, oh, insert foul word, because I thought I have similar flakes like this, and they're more of a, um, a chrome flake. And when you brush it um, into the gel, it kind of melts away, and it leaves a chrome effect behind. And I thought that these were the same, but apparently they're just firm foils. Um, I'm not exactly sure the technical term for them. So I pushed back what I could into place, and then I used the end of one of my brushes to uh, pick up more and place them on the um, on the gel and kind of shape it back into a mini head.
So that's going to do it for today. We are now at the end of day 23, moving on to day 24. I cannot believe it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by as always. Please give me a like and a subscribe and hit that bell so that you're notified when new videos are available. It really does wonders for my channel if you could just hit the like button. Um, and always, uh, if you want to subscribe, I would appreciate it. You can change your mind. I hope you don't, but you can. And I will see you in the next video.